Welcome back to an NFL recap video where I'm going to be focusing on a lot of offseason stuff with some team seasons ending before the playoffs and also college football, their season ending too. And with that, the Titans fired longtime head coach Mike Vrabel and very respected coach Mike Vrabel. He led Tennessee to four consecutive winning seasons. The only seasons that weren't winning are these last two with an aging and injury prone Ryan Tannehill. And now we are getting this report that they believe to trading Vrabel was too complicated and would take too long, which just seems like a bad look. It's getting questioned. A lot of people are linking the obvious fit as the Bill Belichick successor in New England, so we'll see if that ends up coming to fruition. But when you're talking about some of the best coaches and more respected coaches in the NFL, Mike Vrabel is right there. So whether it's New England or another team, someone is going to be happy to get Vrabel. Mike Sando of The Athletic is reporting that the Las Vegas Raiders could make the most sense for head coach Jim Harbaugh, and he was saying that an NFL executive believes this as he can make the jump to the pros with Las Vegas, he could have control, and he could also picture Harbaugh pushing the Raiders to draft J.J. McCarthy, they have the 13th overall pick, and also one of the reasons that the executive believed the Raiders could make sense is because he would have less interference, he would have more control over the team, like he he has over his program in Michigan. If you're talking about the Chargers, it's the Spanos family. They're all involved. So if you're talking about the Raiders, it's Mark Davis up top, but it's not too much else. He could do his job. We're also hearing concurrent reports from Jordan Schultz. Sources talking to Bleacher Report saying there's mutual interest between the Raiders and current head coach Jim Harbaugh from Michigan. Obviously, the Raiders have ties to Antonio Pierce, but if Jim Harbaugh becomes available, then maybe they can make him their prior priority and the Chargers there's definitely mutual interest there but between the Chargers and the Bears it seems like they're going to keep Eberflus this could be down to the Chargers and Raiders and with the Chargers they already have Justin Herbert but if the Raiders can make a push to sign JJ McCarthy that maybe could get the job done. For the last part of this NFL recap, I'm going to be talking about a report from Mel Kuyper, ESPN draft analyst, as he said he believes three wide receivers could be going in the top 10 of this year's draft. Obviously, the first of which is Marvin Harrison Jr. He won the Belindikoff Award, and he is regarded as the first player to go off the board that is not going to be a quarterback, whether that's number two after Caleb Williams or three after Williams and May. Marvin Harrison is a no-brainer, and after that, Romeo Dunze from Washington. He has put up a spectacular year and a couple of years at that, so he's going to go high. And then Malik Neighbors of LSU playing alongside Jaden Daniels, the Heisman winner. He could possibly go in, in the top 10 as well, so this will be a fascinating draft if you're talking about some potential explosive position players.